So here we are back in Mage Rage for August 2019, week one, and we've spawned into a brand new room here that the Archmage has made for us. It's fancier and bigger, cooler looking. And we are going to start by uh, picking our Patreon code. Um, that gives us a special book to put our code into. We'll cut paste it in here, and we will choose our or not because it didn't give us a hat book so let's try that again um i'm looking at the code and oh you know what it looks like there's a space in front of it let me get rid of that let's see if that works we click done oh there we go there's our hat book we should have four choices of hats this time and they are a magic hat a mini top hat a unicorn horn or eye stalks i can only imagine I think I'll pick the mini top hat because I think it'll go with my outfit better and maybe next time we'll dress as an alien oh yeah that's super cute love it love it goes with my outfit perfectly so this time we're also supposed to be able to customize our wand and the archmage has given us some choices so we select our wand and then hold sneak and then scroll wheel through the selections but that's not working for us either and come to think of it i can never sneak and scroll wheel um like when i'm building up high i can't choose between materials or or tools when i'm sneaking I think that it's a Mac thing, I think I decided at one point, and so we're going to probably just have to go with the wand we have, because I don't know how else I would be able to change it. I'm trying the arrow keys and stuff, and none of that stuff's working, so I think we'll just go with the normal wand as usual. So now we're going to choose our spells. Let's get to the spell page. We're not uh, playing on a team. All right, Spell Tome. Let's see, what do we want to go with this time? I think we're definitely going to go with Lana, because it's super handy to cook our food with. And then next we want um, Revealing, so we can make our lanterns. Mining in the middle for me. And then I will go with Blink for traveling around. And I think I'll try Explosion again. I'm, I'm kind of determined to learn how to do this the right way. Uh, I obviously am not very good at it yet, but perhaps we'll get there. And as soon as I pick that, it'll throw us out into the world. So let's see where we are. <sighs> okay, so it looks like we're here in a beautiful little, wow, like a little dell. This looks like a great spot to start to uh, start building ourselves a little base. I do like to build a little base at spawn. This was an idea that I got from JGW, and um, it's super, uh, super handy to just have a base so that when you die and come back to spawn, you've got a little safe place to either spawn into or run to pretty quickly. So we'll just um, get some dirt and stuff here and uh, just start out by trying to build ourselves a little little base. Now, I am apologizing today. I'm so sorry, but the in-game sounds are not working. Um, it was just really frustrating. I thought I had it all set perfectly, and then there was some loud buzzing in the background of the entire thing. So I've had to go back and do voiceover for this whole uh, game, and I hope that it's not going to be too dis disappointing or distracting for you. Um, but basically just trying to to make it a little more presentable because it really wasn't very good at all. So getting our dirt here, make a little dirt wall. It doesn't have to be a fancy house, just um, some place to call home. And uh, we're using our mining to get some dirt. Oh, that was good. That one worked out really good. And um, make a nice tall roof where we can collect lanterns. And I think that... Uh, now this first day here, we're going to have to get underground quickly and start looking for things. And I haven't even looked yet to see what it is I need, but uh, I'll do that when I feel like I've got a safe place to hide. And I just have such a fear of dying. I was telling them on Discord that I just spend so much time playing Minecraft, I forget to play Mage Rage. Uh, so I'm not a very raging mage. I'm more of a more of a pacifist type, so trying to get ourselves uh, situated here. Aw, we'll take you, Flower. We'll give you a little home later. 
And let's see, uh, get some dirt here without destroying what we built so far. This looks like a cute little, uh, cute little spot. There's a lot of uh, trees around and some dirt and stone. And this looks like a good place to go underground, build ourselves a little mine and possibly uh, get ourselves the things we need. Um, hopefully this is not a crazy one with a lot of birch trees required. We'll get some light up so that when it starts getting dark out, we're not caught in the dark. I love this revealing spell with the lanterns. It's absolutely the best. It gives you a chance to make a few extras so that you can uh, chop them down later and have a nice uh, extra lanterns for your lighting pleasure. Okay, very good. Get ourselves a little house built. So we didn't have a mage rage last week, which was sad and lonely, although I know the archmage needs a break sometimes. It was really difficult not to be able to let out my spell casting rage. Okay, I've started to build this, um, I think, too big, so I'm going to zoom ahead here while I finish it, because, I mean, it's a nice little house, but uh, not beautiful, but, you know, dirt, stone, all I care is that it's away from the bad guys. I tend to die, and I think I'll start the little mine over here on the side while I'm doing it, and get it all put together here. And, um, as I, you know, when I die at night, then I want to be able to come back to some place where I'm not going to still be outside at night. That's the thing. So I'm not very fond of being dead. Okay, so now let's go find some wood. Okay, we can mine them to tree trunks and get enough wood here to make some of our basic tools and some things that we're going to need. And um, maybe one of these trees will be kind enough to drop an apple or something we can eat. That would be super handy. Um, looks like it's going to give me some saplings, but I uh, don't see any apples. Good thing our wand works as a, works as a tool without breaking. And uh, let's see, did the... Go in here and make ourselves a crafting table. And then we can get started on making some things. We'll put it there in the corner, nice convenient spot for it. And let's see here. Did anybody drop an apple? No? No apples? Well, maybe one of these guys. Um, I don't think they drop apples, but I see pumpkins over there in the corner. So obviously those aren't going to be something we need because we would never be so conveniently placed if we actually needed to have them. That's not how the Archmage works. So, okay, let's um, get our wood here and um, sneak back to our little house. Oh, sticks. I love that trees drop sticks now. I think that is like the best. And see if any of these would turn into apples, maybe. No, no turning into apples. I have no idea. Looks like the sun is uh, about noon, so yeah, a couple more sticks, and let's just um, put the saplings down so we can come back and get trees later. And maybe they'll grow while we're doing our other stuff here. Uh, go back over here. Okay, so um, let's see. Uh, get some lanterns going so that it's light and I can put some lights on the outside so I can find it again when I need to come back here. And there we go. Put them on all over the place. And put some in here. This is going to be our mine, so we we'll want a lot of lanterns anyway while we're mining. So I like to go as long as the spell will go and keep adding lanterns. Um, so let's see, I want to start by um, making some uh, some doors. I want to put, uh, or stairs, I'll make some stairs first and make this a better, you know, I'm decorating. It's a Minecraft thing. 
everyone's like, stop mining. You haven't even looked to see what you have to find yet. You're mage raging. You keep forgetting that. I know. I, I know. I'm, just, I'm having fun. Stop with me. Okay, let's see. And then also, I actually want to make some doors because there's not much point in having a house that doesn't have a door. And I don't want six doors, so I'm just going to do that. You guys do so many of the good um, shortcuts that I don't do. Oh, put a door in the middle of the house. That's convenient because that'll be handy there. Um, let's see. I don't... Uh, oh, I don't want to do that. Some sticks to make some tools, but make wood tools. Let's go out here and see if we can get some stone. Just start with stone tools. This is going to be our mine anyway, so we might as well start mining. There we go. Um, and uh, you guys do all these handy nifty shortcuts. I'm not very good at the handy nifty shortcuts. My kids are really good at those handy shortcut things and they laugh at me because I don't ever like warp around the end to go somewhere. I just put a door on our mine so nobody comes and bugs us mining. I always like to block off our entrance so people don't sneak in, catch us from behind. Let's see here. Um, I want to do a uh, pick first, and I think I want to do um, a sword because, yeah. I'm not that good at the explosion thing. Um, and let's make um, an axe, uh, maybe, or we get ourselves some more trees. Um, so maybe we don't get an axe. Okay, let's go in here. Oh, of course, because we put the thing in the. I keep forgetting that the lanterns aren't transparent, so <laughs> you can't walk through them. All right, let's start looking for some stuff. We know we're going to need iron. We know we're going to, you know, need coal because we're going to have to cook things and we're going to have to bake stone and whatnot. So let's uh, make ourselves a furnace and some, some uh, an axe maybe or another pick. Uh, yeah, not an axe. Let's make an axe and um, a furnace so we can cook other things, all kinds of things. Oops, it's getting dark out now. There we go. I'll leave our door open there. No leaving the doors open. Get rid of this guy. Let's see. Let's also make ourselves a little storage thing. Those chest things. Put our storage in because, you know me, I'm a saver. And if I throw it away, I will need it in five minutes. So it's best to be saving. Well, let's see here. I'm going to see what we need. Okay, so it looks like a detector rail and something dark colored that I can't tell and a vines, a golden sword in the middle, a cartography table, a piece of white glass that looks like a coal block, a piston, so the top dark thing, the left dark thing looks like wood. I better check if it's a log or a piece of wood though because it could always go either way and I don't want to make the wrong thing. So let's uh, take out the book and uh, verify what we actually need. We need a detector rail, a piece of black terracotta, vines, a dark oak log, a gold sword, cartography table, white stained glass, a coal block, and a piston. Okay, we can make most of those things without having to look them up, but I do need to look up the cartography table and the detector rail just to make sure how you make it, because I don't make those very often, and actually piston. I don't make those very often either, so let's see what's involved in making those things. And um, that looks good. So, so I'm just going to hop over to the wiki, and it looks like the detector rail has iron and redstone and a stone pressure plate. 
and let's see for the cartography table we're going to need paper and wood so that'll be easy uh, the pistons gonna need iron and wood and redstone so that's good okay of course black terracotta i'm gonna need clay i'm gonna need a squid ink for the um gold sword i need gold and sticks and for the white stained glass i'm gonna need sand and either a lily of the valley or bone okay well we'll see how that goes so let's see here i can make a stone pressure plate let's um get rid of our extra door we'll put some extra cobble on the fire cook that up and then go out here and take a look in our mine because we're going to need a lot more cobble and a lot of other things in order to keep going so let's sneak down here see how we do mining so I pretty much like to spend my nights mining because it's a good excuse not to be outside and play with the zombies and stuff. Although, of course, you can obviously run into plenty of mob mining. Um, it's definitely a, a little quieter down here in a little hidey hole than it is playing with everybody outside. Let's see. Get going now farther here. We're going to have to go down quite a ways, I think, to get redstone So, and gold. So we might as well uh, start looking for both of those things. Our first day usually ends up to be quite a bit of mining. Take the torches with, because we do love these little torches. Yeah, we only need to leave like one here that's at this place. All right. I'm glad they give so much light. They're really handy. And we're going to just get going here down into the bowels of the earth. Oh, granite. Yay. Diorite. Yay. We don't need either of those things. Yay.
Okay, and yes, we needed iron. Okay, hopefully there's a little more here than just that one piece. Um, we'll give it a shot with our mining and find out. And of course, mine one piece, but it looks like there's more. So good, a little handful of iron. And new pick. So, um, I usually find that if you go, you find something, then if you go that direction, then you find other things. So I know people are going to go, why are you not just continuing the direction you were going? Um, because I generally find that I find more things if I follow the direction of the things. So I don't know if <laughs> that makes no sense to people, I'm sure, but uh, it's just my weird intuitive mining thing that I do. It's how I, it's how I roll. So um, continuing down, yes, see, there's the coal that I need to melt my iron. So that's awesome. And let's see, we're going to need iron here for the rails and we're going to need a little bit of iron for the piston. And of course I'd really like a shield and some iron tools or weapons or armor would be awesome. So um, I'd like to find quite a bit more iron, but I don't know. We'll see how much more there is in this little area. It looks like we're still on day zero so that means it's still night up there nights just last forever they're absolutely eternal um i don't know i always i know they're not longer than real but yay oh i love that i love it when you get a whole bunch i know they're not longer than usual probably it's probably the normal time but i just always they feel so long um okay so let's uh this last bit, oh, the lag is really annoying today. Um, get that last bit so we can go up and start smelting our little bit of iron here. Maybe we'll at least be able to, uh, I don't know, make the piston. Um, can't make, can't make the, I don't think we can make either without redstone, so we really need to find some redstone. But I want to go up, make sure it's day, and then we will um, check out the situation upstairs and yes so it's daylight so we will uh, go in to our little hidey hole here to put the iron in the oven and get some seven that's good and then we will call it an episode so here we are, signing off from our little tiny house for the first week of Mage Rage in August 2019, Episode 1.